Thanks for watching Numbskull News. And today we're going to talk about NBC. NBC is coming in to save the Pac-12. Or are they? <laughs> well, that's the rumor. Let's get one thing straight. If NBC is getting involved, which we haven't heard jack about NBC. I mean, nothing. This is brand new out of, out of the woodwork. But if they're coming in, that means ESPN is totally out. That's the only reason they're coming in. And they're only doing that because if ESPN is out, then you can lowball the shit out of the Pac-12 and possibly get them. They're not going to be spending big money. Don't think you're going to get $30 million per team per year. That ain't happening. More like $20 million. I know that sounds ridiculous. Like, oh my God, why? what $20 million? You're not competing with ESPN. I mean, they're out. They're not negotiating against anybody. I mean, Apple TV, do they, you know, if you're NBC, you're offering linear programming. I mean, it's USA Network. It's not like it's ESPN or anything. I mean, I'd rather be on ESPN2, ESPN, the Ocho, whatever. I'd rather be on any of that than, than USA. But at least it's USA for a couple of games a week. So number one, it's still going to be a low ball offer. Number two, it's still going to be heavy streaming. Most of your stuff is going to be on Peacock. If you're Arizona, do you want most of your games to be broadcast on Peacock? No, you don't. If you're Coach Prime, do you want most of Colorado games on Peacock? No, you don't. So as far as NBC and a grant of rights, that's still going to be a major problem, a big hurdle. So I'm sorry to dash any hopes of Pac-12 fans out there, but... However, there's still a possibility of a little bit of a saving grace, and that is that the Big Ten, you know, any time in the future, I'm talking years down the road, they, they don't want to take any more teams out west right now. And what do I mean by right now? Like, till the end of their contract, the, the Big Ten's TV deal. That means Oregon, Washington, Stanford, and Cal aren't going to go anywhere. Now, if that's the case, then this may be a good deal, but NBC would have to understand that the Pac-12 are going to lose the four corner schools. They're going to be gone. And why would they be gone? Because there would have to be an unequal revenue split in order to make that contract, that kind of low ball offer work. And I mean work for the four big schools, the four major programs that run everything, Oregon, Washington, Stanford, and Cal. So essentially, the four big schools would push out the four corners like, you know, go the Big 12. We don't give a damn because we want our money and we're still going to bide our time until possibly we can get into the Big 10. And then they would just backfill in with the Mountain West schools, San Diego State, SMU, Boise State, maybe Fresno, maybe Colorado State. They've already talked to Colorado State. And why would you talk to Colorado State, you know, beyond talking to Boise State or Fresno? And, and the only reason you're doing that, because you know you're going to lose some of those schools. You know you're going to lose them. So that's why you've already been talking to more than San Diego State or SMU. You're talking to Colorado State because you you pretty much already know you're losing Colorado. You're probably going to lose Arizona. Let's say that happens, right? Let's say the Four Corners leave, you backfill with the Mountain West schools. And, you know, would NB, M, NBC want to lowball you even more because of that? Possibly. But I think their main interest is the big four schools. That's who they really want. There's some value at the right price with Oregon State and Washington State. Is it $20 million a year value? Probably. And that's what you would give them. Stanford and Cal would probably get in the neighborhood of $27 million a year. And that would leave enough money for Oregon and Washington to get $35 million apiece. And then those new schools coming in, well, they would get about $11.5 million each and for the, for the four. And that would, that would make you whole at $200 million a year. And those four schools, I mean, look, you're more than doubling what you're making now. And you'll be in a Power 5 conference. You know, <laughs> some kind of Power 5. So that that's a it's a good situation for the four at the bottom. Oregon State, Washington State, you're still losing 
a little bit, but at least you're still there. You're in the Pac-12. You still have that recognition, at least. But Stanford and Cal can still pay their bills. Cal can still pay all the debtors that they need to pay. And so they'll go forward from there. Plus, they're getting money from UCLA. And then Oregon and Washington, they do get a pay increase. So at least there's that for those schools. And that grant of rights would basically run out right when the Big Ten rights run out. So that way, the four big dogs can try to get their way into the Big Ten. And that's how I see uh, how this uh, USA Network, NBC crap will work. And, and keep in mind, Comcast owns NBC and they are owed $50 million from the Pac-12. Uh, they don't want to lose their money by the Pac-12 just dissolving, right? Then they're left holding the bag. They want their money. That's the best way for them to get their money. And they can get some more product on Peacock and make that a little bit more appealing for people to sign up for. And I believe you get, what, two games two games a year on NBC, so, somewhere in that neighborhood. You know, whenever Notre Dame has to go play a road game in the ACC, then there's an open spot. If the Big Ten doesn't have anything going on. But no, they're not going to pay the Pac-12 a lot of money. They're paying, what, over $300 million a year. NBC is for Big Ten content, including a lot of Tier 3 on Peacock. They're, they're not going to overspend on the Pac-10. It's, it's, it's not going to happen. But yeah, so if there's no competition and NBC is your only lifeline, then they are free to lowball the, the bullshit out of you. And they're going to. But there's a way the Pac-12 can make that work for themselves. Now, there have been a lot of bullshit excuses thrown out there that people, for whatever reason, are buying um, as far as why the Pac-10 still doesn't have a TV deal. I know, I know there's this rumor of NBC, but there's been rumors of everything. Ion Scripps, Fox may be coming back, maybe CBS. <laughs> we find out all this shit's a no-go. Um, so there's been rumors up the ass. There's been all kinds of talk for months and months and months. Why? Is it taking so long? Okay, number one. One of the school presidents talked about, well, around now is when we would have traditionally have started the negotiation process anyway. Well, you, you didn't. You started this negotiation process way back in August. Way back in August. That's when it actually started, or maybe even July. But that's when it started. So that doesn't matter. Well, we would have been here already. Well, you're not. You went into negotiations early to get a deal done early. So that excuse, suck it. The next big excuse is, oh, well, you know, there's no template for these poor streamers. These poor streamers have to, you know, we got to walk line by line with everything with lawyers and all this stuff. And it takes forever. Bullshit. Bullshit. Amazon already currently has NFL Thursday night game. So they got a template right there with the NFL. And I believe they do some NASCAR stuff. Apple TV, they do Major League Baseball, plus they have almost the entirety of MLS. You know, they are the home of MLS. So they have temp sports templates right there as far as how to work with sports. Well, well, this, these are college sports. No, it, it's still it's still a billion-dollar industry. I don't care if it's college or the NFL. It's a billion-dollar industry. So the, the, the templates work the same. Don't give me that bullshit about, oh, well, well they have never done college sports. And just took, that's a bullshit, sorry, lazy ass excuse. It does not take, you know, eight months. <laughs> it does take nine months to, to figure out a template when those two streamers already have sports. The actual, the only real reason, the only real reason they don't have a deal done right now, straight up, it's arrogance. All right, when ESPN came in and said, hey, here's $300 million for everything, all Pac-12, all of it, $30 million per school, per team, per year. Klyakov and those uh, remaining 10 presidents said, no, we can do better. We're going to go to market. Well, you go to market, and you're ho-humming around trying to find a streamer, trying to add this and add that, trying to still work with ESPN plus Amazon and blah, 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 
all this kind of bullshit. And what does ESPN and Fox do? They, they call up the phone, call your mark, and say, hey, come to market early. Let's get a deal done because the pack is, is ridiculous. These people are stupid. And they came in, their final number was, what, 31.6 a year. You know, ballpark, same number. Which tells you that ESPN got tired of their shit. And they've been tired of their shit. That's why they, if NBC is involved, that means ESPN has walked away. They have said, screw it. We'll, we'll, you know what? We'll get our late night windows with Arizona and Arizona State. And, and by the way, Utah and Colorado can help out with those late night windows. As five teams with BYU, we can get our late night window. So, not a, no big deal. No skin off our balls. And in the long term, it'll save us money. And it will. It'll save them headache and <laughs> a lot of trouble. So in the end, it is conceivable that NBC could save the pack at least until 2030. Until 2030. Until the big dogs can possibly go to the Big Ten. And then at that time, what are you? You're essentially the Mountain West. And that, that's probably what would happen. The, the remaining, whatever whatever's left of the pack at that point, they probably merge with the Mountain West. And, and that that's what you got. Which would still be a pretty entertaining conference. It wouldn't be a bad conference at all. This uh, Pac-10, the way it is right now, uh, <laughs> that's going away. It's going away, folks. And it's going to be fun to watch it go away, one team at a time. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll be back with some other crap later. Bye.